For this video, what I want to do is show you an example of creating a truth table for three statements. So I'm going to let A, B, and C represent any three statements. And remember, these could be any kinds of statements like the sky is blue, the grass is green, unicorns can fly, any kind of statement okay, that you can assign a true or a false value to. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by setting up our truth table with the three variables that we are given. When you get into three variables or more, it becomes a little more complex as far as setting up the starting part, but it always follows the same pattern. So what we're going to do is the first statement is always going to follow the pattern true, 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 followed by false, 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 false. Okay. There are eight different combinations that can happen because I've got two choices for the first one times two choices for the second one, which is four times two choices for the third one, which is a total of eight different combinations. So we want to make sure that we have all of the possible combinations written down. The second column always follows the pattern true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. And then the third pattern follows repeating true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Okay. If you're confused by why this is, it might help to look at it visually. For A, I have two choices. I can either have a true statement or a false statement. And this is not part of the truth table, so don't. Um, put this in your truth table. This is just to help you see why it is the pattern that it is. Okay, well then for B, it follows that if the first statement was true, the second statement could be either true or it can be false, followed by true or false. Okay, so if the first statement's true, the second statement is true, or the first statement is true, the second is false, the first is false, second is true, or false followed by false. Now we throw into the mix a third variable. So again, these branch off twice more. So I have true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. So you can see that there's a total of eight different combinations that happen. So like on the first one, we have the pattern true, true, true. So you can see up here that if we look at the first pattern, it's all true, true, true. Then we have true, true, false, true, false, true, true, false, false. So that's where the pattern's coming from. So if you need to set it up this way and then write across all of the different patterns, that also works. But typically, I just memorize this pattern that it's four trues, four falses, two trues, two falses, two trues, two falses, or alternating. All right, so now let's get into creating everything that we need. Ultimately, at the end, we are going to end with this statement, not A and B or not C. Remember that the tilde is read as not. It is the complement of the statement, which means it's the opposite. This right here is read as and, and that means that both must be true in order for it to be true. And this is read as or, which means that one or the other or both must be true. Okay, so now I'm going to create another column. I always do my tildes next, and that's just how I was taught, and so I just stick with it. I look for any tildes. Do I need to negate any of my columns? So not A. I'm going to negate my A column, which means that I'm going to have four falses followed by four trues, because the not A is just the opposite of A. Okay. Then we would look to see, do I have any other knots? Well, the only other knot that I have is knot C. So I'm going to go ahead and create a knot C column too. Okay. So now I'm going to look at my C column and I'm going to do the opposite of it. So I'm going to have false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true. Now we're going to start putting it together, and I always start with groups first. So I do have the group not A 
and B. So I'm going to start with that one because it is grouped together and it has to be done first because of the parentheses. Remember that parentheses are always more important, so you have to do those first, just like orders of operations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the not A column with the B column. Okay, in order for this to be true, both must be true. Okay, so if I look at this, B is true, not A is false, so this is a false statement. Not A is false, B is true, again, false statement. False, false, and now we finally see that we have a true followed by a true, a true followed by a true, so that becomes true, and then the last two are also false because at least one of them is false. Okay, so and they both have to be true in order to work out. So our last column, we are going to put it all together. So we're going to have the not A column and B or not C. So I'm going to use this column here as well as this column here. Remember for or at least one. is true. If both of them are true, it's also true, but at least one of them has to be true in order to be true. So I have false with false, which is false. True with false, so that one would be true. False with false, so that's false. True, 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 followed by false, and then true. So with or, remember that at least one has to be true. With and, both of them have to be true. And once you get to a column that represents the entire statement that you were given, then you are finished with your truth table. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that I haven't yet covered, please let me know that as well. Um, I'm always open for new suggestions.